What does Alka-Seltzer have to do with hair coloring? I mean, it's right there in the video title. I know this channel is called Cosmo Dad. I promise I'm not going to talk to you about my indigestion. Let me show you a book real quick. In this study portfolio, there's some amazing information just explaining how color works. And it just really increased my understanding of hair color, how it interacts with the hair. And it increased my understanding of hair color in such a way that I can move from one brand to another and have done so really with ease and a lot of comfortability. And I didn't have to panic like I didn't know how to color hair anymore. In this book, there's this really cool demonstration on oxidation. What they talk about is how 10 volume, 20 volume, 30 volume, 40 40 volume developers or 369 12% peroxides all work for the same amount of time. So 40 volume may be more aggressive than 10 volume and then you have your other levels in between, but they're still going to time out. Developer is just a concentration of water versus hydrogen peroxide. So your 3% or 10 volume developer is going to be 97% water and or conditioners and 3% peroxide. Whereas with the 40 volume, you're just faced with a different dilution. So you have, if that's 12%, then you have 88% water and 12% peroxide. So the amount of oxygen available in those developers is a little bit different, but the amount of time that each of them works is actually exactly the same. Developers tend to go flat, kind of like a soda. They run out of oxygenating power and they, in a sense, kind of turn off. They move very, very slowly so slowly that you really need to to reapply or or just get that stuff off of there because there's no sense in leaving it on for hours and hours. So in the study portfolio, they do a demonstration with Alka-Seltzer to talk about the release of oxygen and how that happens at a constant rate, no matter how much oxygen you have in your developer. And this is just a really, really fun demo. So I'm going to repeat that demonstration today. But really, we can owe the entire thing to the American Board of Certified Hair Colorists. So for my 10 volume, we're going to use one package or two tablets. By the way, Alka-Seltzer is fizzy because they use baking soda and citric acid. They're just dry. When you add water to them, they fizz just like baking soda and vinegar would. So I use two tablets for my, to represent my 10 volume, four for my 20, six for my 30, and four for the 40. Now let's see if I can dump them all in at the same time to keep it real constant. So we'll move this box out of the way. <laughs> I don't know, I just love throwing things. And to keep it constant, we're gonna use the same amount of water. In each jar. Doesn't that just sound refreshing? So this would be our 10, 20, 30, 40, and we'll try to get them all in at the same time. One, two, three, go. Listen to that fizz. Now you can see how much more aggressive that 40 looks. And the 10 is moving nice and gentle. I should probably zoom in and see if I can catch some of these little sparkles here. Now you would think that because there's so many tablets, there was eight tablets here as opposed to two tablets here, that there would be that it would just take a long time for these to fizzle out. But in reality, all that oxygen is released at the same rate. Uh, well, if it were developer, it would be oxygen. And you can see that we're pretty much, we're just barely fizzing there. This one appears to be a little bit more active because there's a lot of little particles in it that are all still releasing oxygen. So let's say there's eight little particles left. There's only two little particles left here. But as long as they're still bubbling, 
And that's pretty much it. They went from super fizzy to not so fizzy. And I'd love to point out, you can kind of see the, the fizz line on the, on, the, on the jar here. And this one really didn't raise that high. Now, if you can kind of picture that in terms of lightening hair and how aggressive we're being with the hair, I think this is a, a really good analog to understand and describe what's going on inside the hair when we're, when we're either accelerating our lifting or slowing our lifting down. They're gonna work for the same amount of time. Yes, the 40 volume is gonna do more work in that amount of time, but I really want us to consider the quality of that work and think about what's happening inside the hair. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like what you saw and you wanna see some more, go ahead and check out some of my other videos. Feel free to share with any of your nerdy friends. Click the subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Let me know what else you wanna hear about. Thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you next time.